Welcome to another video. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Crap. All right, we'll take the toys away from Lax now. This can't be trusted. Nope. Maybe I shouldn't have got the rope down. Today, we're here for a purpose. What are we here for? Not the heat. So we have been given the whole gym to play with ourselves. No, we're not gonna play with ourselves. We've got the whole gym to play. It, there's no way of saying it. We're gonna back off of the dumbbells. Yes! <laughs> Why are we here? What is the meaning of life? So normally what you'll see me do is pick things up and put them down in a repetitive way. But the problem with that is that it's very two-dimensional. And after tearing my bicep clean off the bone, props on my scar, please, that goes all the way around and up to here. And I've been working hard to make sure that I did not atrophy as much muscle as possible. And I think you might agree, this is my good arm. This is my rehab arm. Hell yeah. But what that has meant is that I've been very two dimensional in my approach as I have pretty much just been doing very safe bodybuilding movements. But what they don't do is create functionality. Today we are going to be delving into some calisthenics. I thought was called calisthenics for many years and still think it's a better name. In the vein of a new year coming around the corner and doing something better with yourself, because I know a lot of you are interested in being able to do one thing. To do, to do, to do, to do, do. do. What, 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 what? Because it's cool. <laughs> so you're gonna do the muscle up show how it's done. Any final things that need to be done prior? Absolutely. Power up, I got something to boost my testosterone on back in set. Our muscle up shorts. <laughs> it's all in the shorts. <laughs> I am not wearing those. I am not wearing those. <laughs> This is gonna take us through a stage by stage and being able to warm up so that we don't get injured and then being able to build up to be able to do a muscle up. So if you want to challenge yourselves in this, then stay tuned. Okay, so one of the biggest things that you're gonna to need to do before doing callus Enix. A warm, warm up. up. Warm up. <laughs> you know what the doctors tell you when you rip a bicep off? Don't do muscle ups. Let's try it anyway. Oh God, even the air is cold. I'm a footballer, I'm a footballer. Headers, headers. And the reason you need to do this is because like I said, when we're two dimensional, all we're doing is these straight line movements of picking things up, putting them back down. That can lead to things snapping. I don't want anything to snap today. First thing guys, we want to warm up our back, uh, which includes shoulder blades, our shoulders themselves. So one of the main things you need to do is master a position inside a calisthenics, which is going to be your home. That's your home. Are you too good for your home? Answer me. Hands down in a press up position. What you're gonna do is you're gonna protract your shoulder blades, squeeze up with the center of your back, and then lean forwards just slightly. So squeeze up through the shoulder blades, protract shoulder blades, and then lean forwards to engage those lower lats. And then you can roll back, retract the shoulders, and repeat. I'm gonna lift and slide. I feel like I'm, I'm being pranked. Why am I shaking, Jason? Yeah. Is that supposed to hurt? Is this a warm up or is this an exercise? Warm up. Nice. Oh, that looked good. That God. was good. I think my soul just died a bit. Can you see me shaking? Oh. Apparently that wasn't an exercise. I'm going to let Jason quickly show you the rest of the warm up. Definitely do this because we don't want things. Nice easy stuff that you can be doing for your wrists, forearms and your hands. Believe it or not. A couple of simple movements. Hands flat down. Bring the elbows forwards and just simply lean over the front. You're going to get a bit of a stretch into the wrists. Hold for about 10 to 15 seconds. Come out and turn the hands to face the opposite way and lean back this time. This is going to stretch more into your forearms. And you can squeeze side to side. This one's a little bit harder, so be very careful. The further forwards you lean, the more weight there so start by leaning back and you can just lift the wrists off the ground and roll back the further forward you go the harder it's going to be because the more weights in there knuckles down onto the ground roll forwards and backwards lock the elbows out there won't be a great range of motion on the way back but this is all good strengthening mobility and stretching that's what you had me doing that frog position Tack the knees onto the back of the elbows, lean forwards gently. I look like a rocking horse trying to do it. This was Lex a second ago. 
<laughs> I was praying to the calisthenics gods. <laughs> This bar is 12 feet high. Dun, 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 dun. Hits! I got hops. So you're not aiming for your chin to the bar, you're aiming for chest. Okay. You kick forward, engage your core, yeah. you're going to end up back there because the momentum of your body swinging okay. you back. Watch the legs, is what we're looking at, the leg thing. So it swings here, so kicks the legs forwards as he comes. Oh, it's almost like a kip. You're pulling chest up, high as you can every time. Chest up to the bar. You're squeezing and holding in with your legs because there's going to be a leverage point of that to get you up over the bar. If you're flapping around or your legs are tucked down behind you and your core's not engaged, you're not going to be able to get over that bar. Hands shoulder width apart? Yes, no wider. So if I was to do a pull-up, a normal pull-up would just be from here, pull up, chest up to the bar. No swing, chest up to the bar. So that's the first part I can do. Okay. Next bit. So essentially, it's like a bit of, it's a, it's a kip, isn't it? To make sure you get it right, to get to the bar, you need to kip to the bar, <laughs> kip into position. Like that, a little bit. Yeah, but you've got to be further away from the bar. So if I'm swinging like this, when do I do the kip? Like here? No, as you're moving forwards. There you go. So I kick my hips back, hips back and up. Is that right? No, other way. So when your body's moving forwards, then you swing with the momentum of it. I want to show you a big cheat, a big hack. Show me a cheat, show me a cheat. <laughs> so what you're actually trying to do is get your feet up there. So if you can pull with your feet really high, it's all a momentum thing. You've got to think leg up and forwards. This is so counterintuitive. Let's show you, I'll get a pump. So you kick away, as you're swinging in. Okay, I think we got it. First swing in. There you go. There it is. Right, let's break this down. So as you're swinging in gently, just before you return right here, you're gonna kick your knees up like you're doing a leg raise, and at the same time, you're gonna do a pull up. And this launches your body up and backwards and sets you in a pendulum motion to be able to come up and over the top of the bar. So you can see here, I get it up to underneath my sternum, which is gonna be a really easy height to pop those elbows forwards and complete the muscle up. This is about momentum and technique. So think golf swing rather than sucker punch. Okay, I mean, I'm knackered, but at least I can do that mathematical equation. Right, so we've been able to get our chest to the bar. What are you doing now? Just hanging around. Chilling, bro. The hardest part of the muscle up is getting over the top of the bar. Now, if you really struggle getting over the bar and you're flicking one elbow, then the other, do negatives. Clamber your way up a bar, then lower yourself nice and slowly over that tipping point and gently down. Clamber yourself back up. Whilst getting your gym membership revoked. And then again, slowly down, guys. You are 40% stronger on a negative range of motion on an exercise. So leverage that and you'll start to build that strength to be able to push over both elbows at the same time, especially if you pop, pop. So, literally <laughs> monkeying about. Ooh, that's a little sketchy. I'm just gonna jump up. I can't, it spins. How did you get up here? Okay. Maybe don't do what we're doing. <laughs> but bro, how do you get... You go up this side? <laughs> Where did you go? You went... I don't understand. I got it. What the hell? <laughs> no! <laughs> what? You expect me to clamber a leg up onto this thing? I believe I can fly. Okay. Elbows out? Yeah. As you come back down, you're tucking them in tight, squeezing your lats. Protract. Oh, yeah. Push away from the bar. Squeeze and down. Oh, That's I it. see. Ooh. Wait, tuck in. Ooh. You can feel that in your lats. Boop, boop. Hoorah. Right, I'm not going to lie to you. Practicing those is gonna gas you out. Everything is kind of a bit pumped out. We've got the swing in, so we're gonna come in narrow and both elbows need to come over at the same time exactly. wide. If you're hitting one elbow, then the other, the second shoulder that comes up is taking all the brunt of that. You're gonna get injured, guys. You're putting way too much strain on that shoulder. You use momentum with the kip, like Lex has just said, to get you to that point, both elbows up and, and squeeze and press. Okay. 
If you don't want to wear skimpy pants, what you can do is get yourself a micro tube stringer. And what you can do is buy it a size too big before you tried it on and then just have. <laughs> do I have to run into it? Yeah. Bonus look. <laughs> More than nervous. Yes! Again! Ooh. Oh! I already got one more! Yes! Dude, that flowed! Oh! <laughs> That's wicked! That worked like charm! Ooh. Nailed it! Yeah, boy! If you are still struggling, there is one more step you can put in, and that is going to involve. Always two feet. So with the band wrapped over the bar, what you're gonna be able to do here is by utilizing the elastic potential of the band is get used to getting your chest up and over the bar and get those lats locked in. You're gonna get that elastic potential to be able to come up and over much easier. And just practice that top part of the movement, just like you would do with assisted dips, assisted pull-ups or anything of that nature. And what you'll do is slowly increment the band down so you get less and less elastic potential and eventually you should be able to do the muscle up all on your own. Although this bit is quite fun. Woo! How do we get out with that? Oh, this is quite comfy. Yeah, if you've enjoyed this video, uh, give us a thumbs up. Give, oh, ow! <laughs> Why am I spinning? Thanks for joining me on this one, Jason. It's been an absolute pleasure. And uh, we'll see you in the next challenge. Jesus Christ. Ha ha ha!